Hello guys, welcome back to Sukurin 5. Now we're going to uh, inside Lunas to searching for the Oracle. Where's the Oracle? I think it's here. Oracle's Conclave, right? Excuse us. Are you here, Oracle? Oracle, I've brought the princess and the others. Oh my goodness! I can't believe it! Oh. Look how big you've gotten! What? Uh, who are you? What? Oh, Frey, I'm hurt! You haven't forgotten me, have you? After all those deaths we took together? What? W what? Who do you think you are? Get your hand off of Frey! Lim, you're a little Lim, aren't you? Huh? You're so cute! Um. Oh my... L let go of me! Let me go! I tell you! I'll do nothing of the short! You're too cute! Well, Lady Haswar, oh... It's nice to see that you still love children as and stucky shelly as ever. Don't tell me that this woman is. Yep, meet the oracle. She, she's the oracle. The one and only, of course. She's just cousin Haswar to Ashtad and me. Oh, they are cousins. So, is she our own? What? So, when you said you took bath together... Oh goodness, of course I meant when he was a baby. Whenever Ashtad was too busy, I got to babysit the little darling. I bet he was super cute back then, huh? And here I was hoping for a good story. Nuts! <laughs> the f*** George! <laughs> But now, that little patch ball has turned into such a fine young man. And Lim's become an absolutely adorable little girl too. I just can't stand it. I want to keep the pair of you as my own. Err, uh, <laughs> nothing would like more. Excuse me, Oracle. I believe it's time to start participation. I believe it's time to start preparation for the purification rite. Oh, is it the time already? Oh well. Alright, Lim. Let's take you to the back and start getting ready. Oh, okay. Don't be so nervous. There won't be anything difficult about it. Will you come help too, Miyakis? Sure. Sorry, Frey, but you can't see her until she's ready. Do you think you'll be able to find something to do? You probably won't get many chances to visit Lunas again, so maybe you should have a look around while you're here. Okay, Auntie. Isato, show them around, okay? As you wish. I guess we go our separate ways then. Lim, Miyakis, you come with me to the back. Miyakis and Limslayer left the party. Uh, what should we do now? Should we circling around the town? What should we? Do? Oh, chess! Jewel necklace. Defense ring. Okay, that's nice. Can we go here? No. The princess and the oracle getting ready for the vacation. Uh, should we talk to all the NPCs? I think I'm gonna skip this. A few moments later. Oh, we should go here and not just talk to NPC. Prince, huh? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? Hold it. What is wrong with you? What's with that kind of attitude? You're being very rude to His Highness, the Prince and Lady Silits. But, but Isato, they have no right to their titles. The Oracle is the one who should have been queen. What? Huh? Enough! The oracle does not wish to be queen. You should know that. Huh. If you'll excuse me... 
the f the heck is wrong with that guy? I'm very sorry about that. Please pardon his lack of courtesy. Courtesy. What did he mean by all that? Forgive me. I'm afraid it is not my place to say. There was a conflict over the throne. Ah. We wanted to keep it a secret from you and Lim, but you're old enough to know the truth now. George, have you heard of Nethergate? <gasps> Nether what? Nethergate, it means the entrance to hell. It's the name of an assassin group once under the direct control of the queen. Oh yeah. Now that you mention it, I did hear about it once a long time ago. But I've never seen any sign of the group in Valena, so if I figured it was just a nasty rumor, it doesn't exist anymore. Arshad broke the organization up. So before that, it really did exist then? Yes, it was a covert force that did terrible things to support the power of the Valenan royal family. Sometimes, they were even asked to turn their weapons on members of the royal family itself. About 20 years ago, two sisters fought over the queen's throne. Each sister was backed by powerful nobles and senators. Civil war seemed inevitable. And then, both of them started hiring Nethergate assassins to kill members of the other side. Senators and nobles were found dead. The husbands of both sisters were assassinated too. Finally, the older sister couldn't take it anymore. She surrendered the right of succession to the younger sister. Once the younger sister legally became queen, the first thing she did was have Nethergate kill her sister. What the heck? That older sister was cousin Haswar's mother, the younger sister, was Ashtad and my mother, the previous queen. Oh my god. Ashtad, cousin Haswar, and I all watched that terrible conflict. So when the previous queen suddenly died after only two years on the throne, we made a pact. Haswar and I abdicated any right of succession and we both vowed to never get married or have children. Ah, oh, that's why she broke up with Giselle. Arstad then joined with Ferret to break up Nethergate. We all made a few sacrifices to avoid civil war. It's not the bloodiest tale of royal succession I've heard. So, it wasn't the previous queen, but actually the previous queen's older sister who should have taken over. And by that line, the following queen would have of course been Lady Haswar, that older sister's daughter. But then, I have absolutely no interest in the throne, so I can't see what all the fuss is about. Is that Haswar? Oh yeah. Oracle. I realize this story might come out, so I came looking for you. I'm so sorry you had to find out about it like this. Don't get too upset about it, okay? Thank you. Oh. I'm glad Arstad became queen myself. Right after the previous queen died, Armes ruthlessly attacked us. And the only reason we managed to hold out was because Arstad did such a wonderful job as queen. If I had been the queen, we will all be the subjects of armies right now. What? Isn't anybody going to disagree? Huh? F forgive us, of course, none of us think that. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Cousin Haswar. Uh -huh. Well, shall we head back? Lim should be just about done with her meditation exercise. Let's go. You coming, Leon? 
Oh, yes, I'm coming, your highness. Is Leon thinking about something? Maybe she's thinking about Nethergate. Maybe. And if someone asks me to rule a country, I would really say no because I'd rather going around the world than ruling a country like just sitting there like oh my god that's not a life for me really we will now begin the purification right I'm sorry but I'm afraid the man will have to leave just one of those things Frey no speaking yeah right of course I won't Oh well, I didn't think you would, of course. Hmm? Don't tell me you want him to pick, princess. <laughs> Mia kiss! Dang it. D don't be ridiculous. Why would I want him to pick? It it's just that... Well, I thought I might feel kind of lonely all by myself. Don't worry, Lim. They call it a ride, but it's really mostly like a bath. Besides, Lady Silas and I will be right beside you. Hear that, Frey? Are you really sure you don't want to pick? <laughs> Very sure. <laughs> so unadventurous. I wouldn't really mind if you pick just a little. Aun Silas, Lady Silas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'd better leave. The ride is about to start. Could you, Isato? As you wish. This way, please. Oh, Frey, don't go to bed before we get back. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. Bye bye. See you later. Oh, it's night already. Now, I see why Ferret wouldn't let Kyle come with us. Oh, that's why. That guy would trade his life for one peek at that bath. <laughs> uh, I bet you're right. Hold on a second, guys. What's the matter? I thought I heard voices. They sounded like they were coming from upriver. Does anyone live there? No, it's forbidden for anyone to enter the area upriver from Lunas. I'll go examine it. All of you, please head back and rest. Uh, we'll go with you. No, that's not necessary. We won't let you go up the mountains all by yourself at night. It's too dangerous. The more people you have with you, the better, don't you think? Farewell then. Thank you for your help. This is the path to the mountain. Let's go. Uh, what's... There's somebody there. What are they doing in the middle of... On of the night. Uh, no, 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 no! I don't think this is gonna work at all. Would you shut up? It's so dark, I can't see a thing. What? Are they collecting gold dust? Oh! How dare they? Isato. What do you think you're doing? Uh oh, quick! Put out the lamp. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't see a thing. Uh, where, where'd you go? <laughs> Over here. Over where? <laughs> These two are dumb. Really dumb. <laughs> are we taking day as a hostage? So they were taking gold dust? That's right. The man is named Locke, and the girl is Loon. Apparently, their father and daughter. Oh, I thought the girl is his wife. I was wrong. Oh my. Damn, how they catch us? How do you think? 
you're walking around in the middle of the night with a lamb, you idiot. Of course, we're gonna get cough. Uh, actually, it's because your voice. Don't be calling your pop an idiot without a lamb. How are we gonna see the gold dust, huh? Uh, um. Oh, jeez. Um, Frey, I think that lamb was the brightest thing about these two. <laughs> what did you say? You rotten little brat. I wouldn't call me names like that. You just committed treason on top of theft. Huh? Hey, Pop, we're in big trouble. That little brat, I mean, young lady, is Princess Slimslia. What? And that's Prince Frey, and that's Lady Silits. Yikes! P please forgive us! I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, my idiot pop was so rude. <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough now. You mean you let us off the hook for the treason part? Yes. <gasps> Trying to steal gold dust is a serious offense. They should be punished severely. The violated the holy land. But I'm telling ya, we didn't mean nothing by it. That's right, you got to believe us. Hmm. What do you think we should do, Frey? Maybe we should let them go. R really? I disagree. If we let these two walk away with Luna's gold dust, nothing will stop the nobles from coming in droves to mine the rest. The effort of generations of oracles to protect the holy land will all be undone. Oh, hold on a minute. I've seen you two somewhere before. Don't you have some connection to the leader of Rafflit? Huh? Rafflit? Yeah, a bunch of fishing and cargo ships that travel together on the Fetas. It's basically a floating town. If this business become public knowledge, the relationship between the royal family and Rafflit will sour. And we can't afford any more enemies right now. Are you saying we should just let them go free? No, we'll take them to Rafflit ourselves and negotiate directly. The leader of Rafflit is no furball. I bet the punishment they get there makes whatever Isato had in mind look pretty wimpy. Oracle? Sounds sensible enough to me. Sayalits always did have a better head for politics. As you wish. Thanks, Haswar. Just make sure that they've not punished too harshly. I really don't think they meant any harm. Oh, Aswar is too kind. Well, that saddle will stop by Rafflet tomorrow on our way home. Where is Rafflet, by the way? Now, what are we gonna do? This is gonna be really ugly. Why should I think of something? This is all your fault, Pop, you idiot. Well, it's late. Why don't we all get some rest? Isato, give this two a proper room to sleep in. Two, you hear? Yes, Oracle. Oh, we should go here. Prince, are you going to bed now? Yeah, it's been a long day. Alright, good night then, Prince. Good night, Leon. Have a good dream. Nice dream. Sweet dream. Yeah, sweet dream. So, how come just Miyakis and I have to go straight home? Because Arstad wants you home as soon as the purification rite is finished. That's how come. In that case, Frey should come with us. You and George can go to Rafflet by yourselves. But seeing as we're going anyway, I want Frey to meet the leader of Rafflet. Good friends make the strongest allies, don't you agree? Take good care of her, Miyakis. 
I'll take very good care of this one. Don't you worry. Thanks for watching over us while we were here, you guys. It was an honorable pleasure to serve the Falenan royal family, your highness. Well, let's all get going then. Oh gosh, you have to leave already? Frey, Lim, come back again soon, okay? We will. Here we are. Hmm. Oh my god, amazing. So this is Rafflip, huh? They weren't kidding when they called it a floating town. The leader Raja is over there in the biggest ship. Oh. That was amazing, man. If I have had a chance, I will go there, actually. Really. Oh my god. You could just swimming and go back to your room like... Oh my god. What, what are we gonna do? Your mother's gonna be hollering like mad. Don't turn into a sissy on me now, pop. You're making me feel like crying now, too. That's enough, you two. Let's go. Oh, uh, what? A beaver? No, no, no. Hey, Maron! Oh, Loon! Loon, let's play! Let's play! Can, Maron. Kinda busy today. No, too bad. Next time, alright? Okay. No, no, no. She's so cute. It's rare to see a beaver out and about in these parts. A beaver? A queen's knight who ain't heard of beavers? Who legend in them ranks anyway? I'm still rather new to Falena. Beavers live deep in the southern mountains. They're always working on woods projects. They can be friendly and social, but lately, very few of them have been out. Maron's come here all the time to play. She doesn't like to go to Lord Lake enough, but tough. Huh. Let's get going. Oh, sucks. Guess we're really going then. You idiot. This is not the time to give up, Pop. Okay, Admiral, we're here. You here? No need to yell, I'm not that old. The royal family tomboy, is it? Oh, I tomboy? think... Tomboy? Raja, is that how you greet your old friends? Yeah, old friends. That was a compliment. And who's the handsome young lad you got with you? Ah, uh, his royal highness the prince. That cute little kid I knew is this big already. That means this young lady must be Leon, the queen's knight's apprentice. And you must be the famous George Prime. The one his majesty Farad brought back with him. Uh, have we met before? It's hard to tell now, but this old woman was once the commander of the Royal Navy. She helped fight off the army's army when they invaded eight years ago. She's a national hero. Oh, what? You mean this is the famous Admiral Raja? Well, that was a long time ago. These days, I'm just an old lady trying to live a quiet life on the river. Oh yeah, let me introduce you. This lady is my second in command. How do you do? My name is Kisara. It's very nice to meet you. And for reasons that escape me, she's also the wife of that idiot hiding over there. Ah! Yikes! Looks like these two caused some more trouble, huh? Tell me what they did this time. They're stealing our gold, Raja. I see. That's a serious offense. No question about it. Log. Well, dear, you see, uh, 
why can you think this once? Your absurd schemes get us all into trouble. You gotta forgive me. Lunas is all holy and stuff, so I figured we'd have the loot all that ourselves. You gotta admit, no one else the tongue of a plan like that. Nobody else would have thought of it because it's such a terrible idea. I I'm sorry, mom. I tried to stop him, but then he explained it, and I kinda got excited too. Well, that's too bad. You're old enough now to know better. Yes, mom. Kisara, you can discipline them as much as you like in the bag. You have my permission. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Admiral. Oh my god. That's scary. Come with me. You too, Loon. Uh, this discipline? No! Suck it up, Pop. We broke this on ourselves. Uh. Phew. I'm sorry about all this. And I'm sorry you went through all this the trouble. <gasps> and I'm sorry you went through all this trouble just to keep the matter between us. It's all the fault of those two long heads. You don't have anything to be sorry about. That's not exactly true. I'm the one who gave the order to gather gold. Oh, of course. I didn't say they could take gold dust from a holy land. How come you need gold all of a sudden? There's been a lot of demand from the nobles for raw gold. It sent the market price off the roof. The nobles want gold? Must be trying to hire mercenaries. Seems likely, mercenaries prefer raw gold to gold coins. The Barrow's faction seems especially desperate. They've been trying to scarf up mercenaries ever since the second games, by fair, means or foul. I don't know what they have in mind, but you don't gather mercenaries for a nice civil chat. But I'm sure Her Majesty the Queen and His Majesty Ferret have been aware of this for quite some time. It's not something you guys have to worry about, so chin up! Since you came all this way, you should take a look around Rathlin if you're not in a hurry. It's not the most sophisticated place in the world, but people here are so alive and vibrant, I doubt you'll be bored. I wouldn't mind a look, I think we'll do just that. Lock left the party, Loon left the party. Should we go back to our kingdom now? Oh. Well, well, Frey, Sayalit, you're back. Welcome home. What, only Fair and Kyle? That's hardly a welcome. Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought it'd be better if we kept the little matter of your visit to Rafflet quiet. Miyakis filled me in on what happened. Thank you for taking care of that. George, Leon, sorry for all extra trouble. Nah, it was hardly what I'd call trouble. And we got to meet lots of new people. It was fun too. <laughs> That's good then. I'd like to hear what you have to say too, but you must be tired. Why don't you go ahead and get some rest now? Oh, but before you do, you'd better say hello to your mother. I think she's in her chamber now. Okay. Well, I guess I'll take a bath and fresh up then. Oh, I'll join you, Kyle. What the heck, Kyle? Kyle. Sorry, just kidding. You'd better be. Have I mentioned how glad I am that I didn't let you go to Luna's? <laughs> Only several times today, your majesty. I'll just go make myself comfortable in the guard room for now. Oh, George, by the way, come visit me later. Sometime this evening will be fine. Got it.
Um, excuse me, mom. Oh, welcome home. Isn't Leon with you? Uh, she's outside, by the way. I see. She wanted to give us some time alone, did she? Come on, come a little closer. Ah. So you made friends with not only Hazwar but Raja too, did you? Yeah. What did you think? They're nice people, aren't they? Yep. Yes. Getting the support of those two will prove to be very helpful to you someday, I'm sure. And that day might not be very far away, I'm afraid. What? Gazelle is coming the day after tomorrow. I want you to know we're not just waiting around without any plan. We're taking every measure we can. We're certainly not going to let Godwin have everything his way. I wanted to tell you at least that much. Okay. Now go back to your room and get some rest, okay? Yes, mother. Aww. You've grown so much. Pretty soon, you'll be taller than I am. A great big man like your father, Farid. I've really been blessed with wonderful children. Both you and Lynn. Oh. I want you both to know how truly proud I am to have you. That's so sweet. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, Prince, you're done with your talk? Huh? Your face is all red. <laughs> well, I guess it's none of my business then. Welcome back, your highness. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. I'm tired. Yes, I am. Alright, your highness. Good night. Good night, Leon. See you tomorrow. Oh, Farid and George. What are they discuss about? Man. Is that... Is that why you invited me to Falena? To ask me to do that? Do what? I can say that wasn't part of the reason. If that time ever comes, I'll do it myself if I have to, no matter how hard it would be. But if, for whatever reason, I can't, someone else will have to do it, we must be prepared for anything. So you want me to be your backup plan? Is that it? Yes, you're the only one who I can trust completely. I hate this. I do, too. What plan? <sighs> I guess we're gonna find that out in the future. Pedophile! Pedophile! The aura is just so tense. It's scary though. to just gonna sit there like no eat at all I would be so mad if I don't eat at the party guys what with those faces who's there my kiss maybe oh silence lady silence this is supposed to be a happy occasion but you too look so gloomy of course we are it's Giselle you know Ah, uh, I guess we do. Well, as long as you're aware of it. Now, quit being wallflowers, I'll hang out with you, so come on! Is there any difference if you with us? I don't think so. 
what should we do now? Should we talk to Lim Slia? Frey, this is supposed to be a happy day, but I'm just so sad. And even I can tell everyone else has a fake smile on. Oh. Only Giselle seems happy. Why the long face, Frey? You're here to celebrate your sister's engagement. Try to look happier. Okay, mom. <laughs> Even if it's only for a few hours. Hey, mother father. Greetings, your highness. It's been a far too long. First, allow me to apologize for the absence of my father. He would have liked to attend, but I requested that he stay home. Frankly, I would find it a little embarrassing were I too be accompanied by my father at this age. What should we do now? Should we go just go out now? Maybe. Oh, I think so. Oh no? Something wrong with the America boring? Oh, we can. Dang it. How is it going, Frey? Have you had enough? Yes, I'm pretty much done. Oh, we just have to talk to Ferret. Hmm, I see. It's still early, but this day is about Lim. She must be getting tired by now, too. We should call it a night. Gazelle, evening, sir. Is the banquet over already, sir? Yes. It's the princess's bedtime, you see. A little while ago, an attendant came by and brought us some of the banquet food. It was quite delicious. Thank you. <laughs> hey, oh, what? What's wrong? Getting Are they gonna take us now? Gazelle, sir. Please wait aboard the ship, sir. We'll come see you when it's over. Oh my god. Very well. The scholars have arrived. I want you to take them to the sealed room right away. Yes, I know. The man in red. Something about his manner disturbs me. I want him watched. I'll put someone on him. You can rest assured. Fine. Do that. Gazelle, sir. What about Lady Silides? Worried about the lady, are we? How sentimental of you. You have your orders. Just do as instructed. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Is that an assassin? Nethergate, maybe? Surprise, brother father! Aha! Caught you! The heck? We knew you guys would put Dark Arcanum in the banquet food. And that's why we all took an antidote beforehand. We've got you all now. Don't even try to make any excuses. Godwin didn't see this coming, I bet. <laughs> what did you say? The reason we used that drug was so we wouldn't have to sacrifice so many of you. Now there's only going to be more unnecessary bloodshed. Give up! You have no chance! Is that so? Uh, is that a boss? Seven, what the heck? Mm. Die already. It's just fifty seven. Uh, let's try to attack uh, later. Okay, let's auto now. He's dying. Yeah.
we did it. That was easy. <sighs> what was that? He's tough as a demon. <sighs> I wonder if he's a member of. Who are you? Answer me. Damn, poison. Looks like he took the easy way out. We might have underestimated our enemy. If there are many more, this tough, we're in trouble. I'm worried about mother and Lim. Yes, me too. Let's at least get downstairs. Leon? Coming. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.